hey guys welcome back for today's video I'm going to be doing an eye makeup tutorial and it's going to be this nice brown look with brown shadow and purple shimmer I hope you guys enjoy hey guys welcome back um, I did this is like the full eye on my face well the completed eye and now I'm going to get into the tutorial now so first I'd like to prep my lids with this 3D Contour Artist Cream Palette by KISS and I'm just going to be taking these two shades to prep my lid. And to blend out my concealer, I like to take the AOA Studio High Def Brush E102. And as you can see, I did my eyebrows and stuff. Please mind the unevenness, guys. I, my eyebrows are going through it in quarantine. Okay. Now that the lids are set, the eyeshadow palette that we are going to be using today is the Vanity Palette from AOA Studio. Well, A2 Labs, and this is the palette. And I am going to, just to set my lid, I am going to take this tan shade and just apply it all over my lid. Alrighty. And to start with the blending, I'm just going to be taking this MSQ brush I got from eBay. And to start building up the crease, I am going to take I am going to take this like I don't know maybe light mauvey shade and just start putting it in my crease. Okay. And then once I am done with that, I am going to take this brown shade and as you will see, I'm going to put it in like the outer corner and then I'm just going to press it like this, swirl it, press it and then bring it into my crease. So you swirl swirl it there so you can get the most concentration of pigmentation there and then you bring it in and then you just want to blend everything together so you see how seamless and everything is just blending together alrighty now to start with these shimmers we are going well I mean, I feel like this step can be optional, but because some palettes are really pigmented and this palette is, or your eyeshadow palette. But I am going to prep my lids, and I'm just going to use this MSQ brush, another MSQ brush. And I am going to go back with this palette, and I'm just going to be taking um, this tan kind of shade, and just use it to prep my lids. And when you're applying the crease, you crease. And when you're applying the shadow, I'm kind of like, you see, that's where your lid ends. But you also kind of want to take it higher so people can still see, like, the beautiful shadow. Okay, and once you are done with that, it is time to start. Well, actually not yet. And what I like to do is I like to set this concealer because I don't want it to crease. So I'm going to take the lightest shade in this palette and just set it. That's what you need to do, set it. Once you're done with that, we can now play with the shimmers. 
okay so first i'm going to start this brush i love using for shimmers it's this nice flat kind of domed brush as you can see and i first like to start by taking this beautiful deep like kind of like a deep berry i won't like say berry but like a deep kind of purple shade and what i like to do is just place it all over the lid you see how pretty that is Ooh. Okay, as you can see, my lid is just completely covered and completely unattractive. But you're going to fix that. So next, you're going to take the shade next to it, this like, like kind of indigo purplish color. And we're also going to place this on top of the lid. And you see the magic. You see how beautiful these two shades like, are put on top of each other, it's really nice. Okay, and once you are done with that, now we are going to add a pop of shimmer in the center. So we're just going to take this kind of like, kind of iridescent, not really, but beautiful light purple shade. And what you want to do is just book. Um, um, put it here. And you see how beautiful and pigmented that is. And what you do, you just kind of want to blend it. Blend it. Blend it into like the other shimmers so it looks very seamless. And then you get your nice pop like that. And we are also going to use the shade for the inner corner. So I'm just going to take it into my inner corner. And literally, that is it for the tutorial. You see how beautiful and nice this eye look is. And I really love it. Thank you for watching.